Where you plug? Hell yeah! Oh, oh, you plug. Plug. Where you plug? So, we got a new laptop, but it's not for us. Trackstar, Ethan specifically at Trackstar Motorworks, has been such a huge help to us and in my cars over the past couple months. He doesn't necessarily want anything in return from us, but I've been wanting to do something awesome for him because he's helped us so much. So I texted Ryan, the guy who runs the Trackstar Media Works. I want to do something special for Ethan just so he knows that like we are really appreciative of him. He did mention, so Ethan is the, is the best tuner. Like he's so intimate in particular about every little detail, but he has this he has this computer that needs needs to be replaced. So, we got him this 16 inch HP Envy and I'm super psyched about it. We're going to be giving this to him today and I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more stoked because I love paying it forward and I love helping the people that help me. It's the best feeling. Today, we are dropping off the Subaru to the frame alignment shop. So, let's get our day started. We've got lots to do. I'm gonna stop now. 91? What do you mean 91? Who the hell sells 91? Here. It's Tex. I'm never coming here again. It's so cold outside. It was 70 yesterday. Here's Dad with his third LS swap Jeep. Number three. Weirdo. <laughs> Let's see if this thing still works, dude. Oh, that is incredibly dead. We're off, boys. It's a big moment. Instagram. You won't. No balls. Like I keep mentioning, we we're on the search for like the best, most authentic San Diegan food, and it's very hard to find. It's not super authentic, but it's it's pretty tasty, and they do have California burritos here, which are probably, aside from the homies, one of the only things we miss about California. Thank you. Avocado, pico. Carne asada, a little bit of fries in there. It's not California, but it's good for the middle of Texas. Yeah, I think his is his old laptop. It's an old boy. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. I told him I was. I'm kind of nervous, but uh, I don't. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I really, I really hope he likes it. Okay, so today we're back at Trackstar, and I actually have something for you oh. today. Um, let me actually, hold on, let me go get it. Close your eyes. Closing my eyes. <laughs> Close to say thank you to you for all of your amazing work, we wanted to go ahead and pay you back in whatever way we could, but <laughs> this is for you. Oh, what the heck? We, uh, Whoa. We had, I was talking to Ryan, oh I was like, we want to do something bro. awesome for you. He's that like, yeah, counts. He's got, he's got kind of an old computer and he needs Holy something new, so. Guys, it's, is, it's touch screen. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> it up. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Open it up. I want you to see. It's a touch screen. It's flip around. Okay. It has a keypad. Yeah, like, yeah, I just kind of like patched mine up recently. You know that. Uh, that. Uh, so. Wow. So it should have all the goodies that you need. It's got a keypad. Ryan said that you really needed a keypad, or okay, preferred to have one. It is a lot smaller and uh, more. It should be pretty light. Handy. Yeah, awesome. Um, it should have. Oh, and it's one that you can then. turn into a tablet, so it like yeah, folds so back on itself. Yeah. yeah. It's got an i7, so it's it's fast to be able to run all your programs, your tuning stuff, and uh, it's got a lot of memory, so whatever you know you need stored on there. Dude, we just I, wanted to say I I know what we had said thank you like. Verbally last yeah. time, but we wanted to show you how. how that is a that you. is is a substantial thank you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that is awesome. We very much appreciate you. Dude. So <laughs> if, so so. If much. I wasn't already <laughs> dirty, I would be Yeah, dude, that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll uh, that'll probably work good when you're tuning the Z. Yes, sir. Can't wait to use that. <laughs> he said, "Just dry up tears." Very good. Very good. Better news than anything I could ask for. So. 
puddle under the Z. There's obviously something leaking. Um, that's a fairly substantial amount of just leakage. So it could be, could very much be oil pan. That would be a bummer. Do not want to have to fill this up again. There is a leak about right there. Maybe it's a loose drain plug or something. That would be really ideal. Super, super ideal. A few moments later. Ugh. For sure, I was like, God, I hope. Okay, like, I hope so the drain the plug, yeah, the drain plug is literally like hand tight right now. That's our problem, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I was like, there is no way I did not put enough RTV on all of this, and there's no way it's not tight enough. So I got the car jacked up right now. I want to, I'm going ahead and putting some power steering fluid. There was a little hard line at the, the Nissan, this car has a really weird hard line uh, right on this, the front subframe right on top of it, just like rest on top of it. And it looks like something got bent kind of like right in the middle of um, this motor being taken out, but it also could just be OEM. So I'm gonna run the car for a second and I'm gonna turn the wheels and let some fluid run through the, through the power steering system real quick. See if we have any leaks. Wow, that is a heavy clutch, here we go. Just turn the wheel full lock. Oh, I can feel the, the fluid trying to go through. <laughs> go ahead and turn it again, keep it. I think we're good. You think we're good? The two big things that we were, we were kind of concerned about was the one, the leak, the oil leak under the car into that, uh, that power steering thing. Um, that should indicate that this car is probably ready to drive. I think no? so, yeah. I like that. And boys, for the first time in a couple weeks, it is starting to look like it, uh, <laughs> exactly like it did when I drove in here. We've got a few more things to bolt on here and there, and this thing will be ready to go. I'm thinking minimal bolts back on. You know, there was about 16 that came off. Maybe about, what do you think, Casey? Like eight to go back on, maybe? <laughs> maybe a four. <laughs> After a bash bar, there might not even be a bumper, so. Some numb nuts, whoever previously, not the previous owner, but the previous previous owner who did all the amazing work, they did have the wrong connector for this, and they actually have the wrong battery entirely, but I did tighten the hell out of this thing. But uh, we had to get a new connector for that, and we had to do a couple of things. I actually refreshed, it didn't come with a valve cover, so I refreshed that. What are you laughing at? We had to do a few things, like fix the whole thing. Like build the motor, like rebuild yeah. the motor. <laughs> Everything is back together, and now I know way more about a 350Z than I ever in my whole life intended on. Maybe more than you cared to. <laughs> uh, way more than I cared to. I have six, seven, eight, 16, 17, ah, 18, 19, holding. Oh my God, that's a heavy boy. Dude, check this out. I didn't even know this, but here's his old laptop. You can't close it, because he had to get this bracket because it was, bro, he's been tuning hella cars like this, man. <laughs> I'm so happy about that, I had no idea. So we've got about a, we've got 100% coolant. No. What? Definitely without a plug. Where's your plug? Hell yeah! Oh, oh, Where's your plug? Let's try this one more time. Let's go. We were just gonna do water, but it's it is uh, it's cold outside right now, and we definitely don't want this thing freezing up because I have to drive it around and break it in. This car sounds amazing. It does. So we're just gonna burp it a few times, I guess, and then I'm so excited to drive around the road. I'm gonna. This is literally the last part. You guys don't really need to see anything else. We'll put the hood back on, and then I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it driving home. spot right now we um we noticed whenever it got back it was really really low on oil pressure now I know that these cars can have really bad like they can read pressure really badly it builds really 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 well but we did have an oil pressure light so we are um checking rechecking double triple quadruple checking to make sure that we have enough oil in the car that everything's running okay and you know last thing I want is this car to blow up again on the way home or something like that so. Take two. if you thought my Evo was 
hard to drive, babe. <laughs> this is tough. It's good though. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll get used to it for sure. You'll love it. We're gonna take it for another spin, just to just to see. I mean, I don't know, we could be, somehow could be like burning a ton of oil. But that much would be unlikely this quickly. Very. We have to check, because it's an hour home, and I'm not coming back here with a broken car again. So it's literally like, I am I am at 50 PSI at 25 hour, like it's good oil pressure. It's probably one of those things where it's definitely fine, but we are, you know, we just spent all this time and we're here. You want to be so, so careful. Oh, I just want to clutch, I just want to kick it so bad right now, dude. One thing that is nice is this is a Touring. So I'm, it supposedly has an LSD. But I'm probably gonna weld it anyways. We've confirmed with a lot more forms that is absolutely normal. The, the fact that, the fact that it's just like, yeah. it looks so good everywhere else, like all other, uh, What do you want to do? Um, do I don't know. Do you think it's good? I think, I mean, I, I do think it is good. I'm kinda reluctant to say like, yeah, go drive it away, like, it's gone right <laughs> go now. Go drive it 52 miles. Yeah. Pump is working right, I mean, it definitely, yeah, I like it. Right up. Look at this. Watch this, guys. Little teeny rev over 32 PS. From zero, from here to like 1,000 1, RPM. I mean, it immediately. It's already yeah. 30. It immediately perks up. Yeah. It's just not liking the low. So weird, man. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. I'm pretty confident that the little old Z is gonna make it there, and if it doesn't, I'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call you. Don't call me. <laughs> uh, what you guys can do for me, a big favor, is make sure you go subscribe to the Trackstar Media Works YouTube channel and make sure you follow Media Works and MotorWorks on Instagram. That's the biggest thing you can do for me. And also keep watching my videos. That's also what you can do for me. Cross your fingers, because we're about to go drive this stuff on the road for the first time. <sighs> Wish me luck. Good luck, sir. Appreciate all the help, man. Have that laptop ready for me when we come back. Yes, Get the sucker I'm tuned. Hi, right, Casey. Hey, wish me luck. The magic's been opened, but hey, I mean, like. You got it. All right. You already know we got the convoy. She is the emergency vehicle behind me. Damn, look how cool that car looks. I'm really going to concentrate on making sure I'm like listening for noises and everything and being very, very careful. I'll update you guys. Oh, my God, this clutch. I'll update you guys. We are definitely going to hit traffic, and my life is going to be terrible for about an hour. Oh, we'll see. Oh yeah, cruising 60 miles an hour at 34, 35 PSI. Hell yeah. Got my first uphill. Oh my God. Oh shoot, I freaking just stalled. Rip. Oh my God. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I could tell you I was trying to stall to like be funny or whatever, but oh my God. Yeah, we're about halfway home. Oh God. And it might be like this the whole way home. So I have driven the car for uh, probably about 45 miles now, I'd say. I did way more traffic than I ever had wanted to on this clutch. I'll say that the car is its driving phenomenally. The, uh, the oil pressure is building just fine. And like one time, the, the oil pressure light came on. So I might have to replace the sensor or something. I really doubt that there's an oil pressure issue. The clutch I've gotten kind of used to. It's really not that... I mean, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, made it home, no problems. This heat is very hot. Um, still no oil pressure light, oddly enough. Um, it came on one time, and like I said, came on one time randomly. It's still sitting pretty low, but uh, I'm not sure. We need to get a solid uh, 60 miles in today. It's 58, so that's really awesome. I have to be honest with you guys, I am surprised that um, not only my car survived, but my leg as well. Uh, my leg is about to be dead. Like I showed the other day, I did get a bunch of stuff from Zato. I'm gonna go ahead and use their metal conditioner for the engine just in case, and we're gonna see how that, if that does anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in. I do have a discount code for you guys as well in, in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in. You have to do it at operating temperature. Oh, just clutch hear me. Hi, buddy. You do have to do this when the engine is warm. You pour this in and you run it for about 10, 15 minutes. So I'll go for another drive outside the video. Just dump the whole thing in there and uh, tighten that up. And I'm going to go ahead and start the car again. Let it run. 
I'm so happy to have this car home for the first time in a couple weeks. I can't believe we just built a motor or rebuilt a motor in, uh, in just that short of a time span and it's already like at my house. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you've been enjoying recently and I'll... Why does this randomly come? This keeps on randomly coming on. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out, boys. Everybody have a great day. Be victorious.